Hi everyone, it's Lucy from My Crazy Craft Life, and today I'm here with a design team post for Fairy Stamper. I'm going to be using the stamps Sprinkle Kindness, Aaliyah's Peruvia Lily, and Meadow Sparkle Paper Pad. So I'm going to start out by stamping these, and I wanted to try something a little bit different today, so I'm going to be using my Perfect Pearls. And I'm stamping with a sticky embossing powder. And so I'm going to stamp on a piece of black cardstock with some embossing ink. And I remember to use my embossing tool because you do want to make sure that you do that before you stamp it so that you don't get the sticky embossing powder left anywhere else on the piece that you're going to be embossing. So you do want to make sure that you use some type of embossing tool to help not keep it everywhere except on the embossing ink. So I'm going to put that on there and then I'm going to heat that up. And this embossing powder will dry clear or heat clear, but it remains sticky so you can stick something onto it, whether you use it for foil or in this case I'm going to use it for Perfect Pearls. And I'm going to kind of paint the perfect pearls onto the areas and I left or I grabbed the insert so that I can kind of look at it to see because it's a little bit difficult to see particularly on the black cardstock so I'm just going to use I'm using a green a pink and a blue and then a yellow it's a sunflower yellow I'm using forest green, uh, bubblegum pink, and I can't remember the blue off the top of my head, but I will try to think about that. But I'm just going to, like I said, kind of paint this, and it's going to kind of look like a big mess as I'm doing it, but once I clean off the whole area, it'll kind of all come together, and it's super sparkly and shiny, just what you need for a fairy. Then I do end up using some gold, it's an heirloom gold, for the body of the fairy, just to give it kind of a peachy tone or a peachy color in the skin. But it's still a fairy, so I didn't feel like it had to be a perfect replica of a human, because it's not, it's a fairy. So, I, like I said, I think this is a kind of a cool effect that you can use with some perfect pearls. And it's really quick, it's very simple, and like I said, it, it ends up turning off pretty interesting design once you kind of complete it. Now this was the first time I used the stamp and I had to stamp it a couple times. I do think if I did not stamp it so many times then it would have stamped better not using it the first time since I was I mean since I was using it the first time if it would have stamped a little bit better I think there would have been a little bit more detail but I still think overall this came out really interesting now what I do after this is I'm going to stamp the stamps and I did not move them from the stamping platform I left them in the same position and I'm going to stick just a white piece of cardstock down and stamp them with some black ink. Now the reason why I did that is because I'm going to cut these out with my scan and cut and if you're using a scan and cut the way that you can do that because I wasn't sure that it would pick up very well with the black cardstock so I scanned I put the white piece of paper that was already stamped inside or onto the mat for the scan and cut. I scanned it and I lifted it up and in the exact same position I put the black cardstock down. So that's why I'm doing those two things. And there you saw that I wiped it down and that was just a dry cloth. You do not want to use anything wet on there. You just want to use a dry cloth to make sure that you clean off all that extra perfect pearls and it's going to stick there and it won't leave any residue on your fingers from the sticky embossing powder so it's not going to come off on your fingers as you do it. Now I'm going to be using the pattern paper and I'm cutting it down. This is going to be an A2 size card so it's five and a half by four and a quarter inches and I cut the piece of pattern paper down to four inches by five and a quarter. 
I'm going to use the Sprinkle Kindness stamp sentiment, and I'm going to stamp that down, but I'm also going to emboss that with some black embossing powder. And I'm just using some VersaFine ink to stamp it, and then I will get that black embossing powder on there and then heat that up so that it gives it a little bit more dimension. While I'm kind of finishing that up, make sure you check out fairystamper.com. You can get all of these stamps as well as many others there. Check out our Facebook pages. There's lots of inspiration for all sorts of interesting projects and ideas and things to go along with the stamps from Fairy Stamper. And you can click subscribe so you make sure that every time there's a new video for Fairy Stamper that you can get notified on the YouTube channel. So I'm just going to place that down and it has that nice border. I'm going to kind of position my flowers into the areas that I want them. And I'm going to make this a little bit over the card itself and I'm just going to snip off the edges when I'm done. And I end up just using the big flower or the big flowers, the group of flowers the little bee and then the fairy on the front, but I do end up using that smaller flower just on the inside of the card just to give it, to kind of keep the theme going for the inside as well as the outside of the card. So like I said, after I get those down, I'm just going to take some scissors and snip off the little bits that are hanging over the edge. And that is kind of the front of the card. I do end up getting some iridescent sequins and putting a few of those on just because I love these sequins and I think they kind of go perfect with the theme with fairies and sparkle and shine and like I said I do really love these iridescent sequins. So like I said the last thing I'm going to do is just get that down there and I want to thank you for joining me today and I hope everybody has a great day. Take care, be well.